What's up YouTube? If you're in frustration like I was because your 4000 series GPU does not work, this video is for you. So the symptoms, computer will not boot. You've just bought a new GPU, you try to put it in there, you get nothing, you're getting a black screen. You've watched all the videos online and you still haven't fixed it. There's multiple reasons why it's not working. So I'm gonna go through those reasons one by one so that way you can troubleshoot and hopefully get your system up and running a bit faster. First things first. Number one, make sure the GPU is powered correctly. Either if it's the 4090 or the 4080, it either has three or four pins from the PCIe power supply unit. Make sure that all the pins are plugged in. It will not work if only some of the pins are plugged in. Make sure that all have an adapter going to them. Some power supplies come with multiple out ports for the PCIe spot. Other smaller wattage power supplies won't have as many PCIe cables coming out of the rear of them. So you might have to upgrade your power supply to match the power required to run these cards because they are a big card. Power supply that I'm using is 850 watts and it seems to be working pretty good. So make sure you check the back of your power supply unit and you have at least three PCIe cables with eight pins coming out the back, plugging into your three pin adapter, going down to the one eight pin that goes into the card. Make sure there's no debris around the pins as you plug them in and make sure that you don't bend them too much because when you bend them, they actually break and cause the melting problem a small minority of people are having with these cards. Next thing is you should see the RBG lights on the fans, not just the logo, but on the fans as well, come on on the card. If they're not coming on, it means that the card is not receiving enough power. Third thing, the drivers. You may have to boot the system with your last GPU or off your CPU graphics processor if, you, if your CPU can support graphics in order to get the system to come up. And then you're going to go onto NVIDIA's website and download the newest drivers for your particular GPU and you're gonna install them. There's a few tricks to installing them. Sometimes it won't let you because it says some Windows 11, Windows 10 message, which I will get into in the next section of this video. So there's a few things that, there that you need to unpack, but hopefully it gets your system up and running quick. All right, guys, we're into my system now. And um, I just got up on the screen the two warnings that I was getting shown. So at first, it, when you try to install the drivers for the new graphics cards, it uh, checks the system compatibility and then it pretty much says that it cannot install the NVIDIA driver and to check the GeForce Experience app to download the correct driver. Now, from my experiences, I can recommend to stay away from the GeForce Experience app. Don't try to get the drivers through there. They won't work. So what you have to do is you have to go onto the NVIDIA website, put in all your specs for your particular graphics card, and download the driver. Keep in mind that the download type, which this one here, is either the game ready or the studio driver. You might have to try either or. They're pretty identical in the way that they work, besides the studio driver being more stable for video editing softwares and stuff like that. But you might be able to install one easier than the other, depending on your system. So once you have downloaded that, you'll be able to go into your downloads and it will be here. So when you click on it and you try to install and then you see those messages that pop up, one thing to take into consideration is the little list it gives you. So I'll just, you go run as administrator and then it will do its thing. So this pathway is also important. So right now, if you try to navigate to that pathway in your own system, which is NVIDIA display driver, 5.2 so I recognize this and I don't know if it has any connection to the actual fault but I'll just bring it up because essentially when in your C drive if it, yours looks like anything like mine does you've got a NVIDIA folder straight off the bat here and then that's the display driver and then you've got the number nothing got installed there but as I tried to click OK it would start to write the files in here and then it would fail and then say that it wasn't compatible with Windows 10 or 11 or whatnot, and it would then stop installing. So nothing actually ended up in here. 
So that's just a funny one. I changed the location. I installed it into a different location. And where I ended up installing that was into the program files, NVIDIA Corporation, and then you've got the installer too. You've got packages all in there. So make sure that you're installing it into the correct location because sometimes that extraction pathway that's already been preset by NVIDIA drivers will not work. That's one thing to look at. The second thing is to go into device manager down here. Obviously I've already got it up, but you just type device manager and then you've got this window that everyone will probably be showing you. And then you've got your graphics card that's you won't have a gra graphics card in here if it's a new system build or if you're replacing an older 3090 or a 20 series graphics card you'll have to obviously right click and then you can go disable or uninstall device and then she will uninstall it's also a good idea to go through your system and uninstall any other nvidia related products so you can do that by going down to the bottom here and typing run and then typing this word here appwiz.cpl i'll leave it in the description and what this will do is it will bring up this window here which is your ability to uninstall different programs so here i i've gone through and i tried to uninstall as many of these that it would allow and at least that way it's giving a clean fresh install once you get the proper driver to work so i went through and i got rid of geforce experience there was only two that wouldn't work it was the old graphics driver that would not delete so people say to delete everything in there sometimes you will get everything sometimes it won't um, not too sure why it doesn't install but make sure that you clear that out all those things in there first before you try to install the new driver another thing that you can also try is going into the property section on the device manager and then you go details and you can actually go down to the third one which is hardware ids you can actually look at what graphics cards have been inserted into your machine so in order to install the new drivers, I had to put my old 1080 Ti graphics card back in the system, boot with that, come in here, delete the drivers for it, download the new, delete all the NVIDIA drivers inside the, so uninstalled in here, deleted all the ones in that other folder there, went to the website, download the new ones, made sure that it was installing into the correct spot in the computer, and then it worked and it installed. And I did not get the message after that. And then I powered off the machine, switched back to the 4080 series graphics card, which is the one that you want to work. And as soon as I did that, then it booted straight away. So hopefully this got, helps you guys. Um, it's a bit of a fiddly one. Uh, the processes that different YouTubers explain sometimes work, sometimes don't. So. That's why I've made this video to hopefully help sort out some of that process because what I was getting told, which I think is incorrect, and that's why I'm correcting it with this video, is that they say to delete your drivers and then put your new graphics card in and then turn it on. But what you find is that you're not able to get any graphics out of the machine because there's no new graphics that are supported for the new driver for that new gpu so you almost have to put the old one back in delete the old drivers then install the new ones and then turn it off put the new graphics card in that you want to work connect up all the cables and stuff and bob's your uncle and if you don't have an old graphics card you can always use the internal graphics on the cpu which will get you just enough graphics so you can actually boot and then try to install the correct drivers now keep in mind that some cpus ha have that capability others do not so you have to check in with which one you've got and if it has internal graphics supported